Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kwok Hua from Project Wired. Today, I'm with a special guest on a special mission to come up with a special edition for Project Wired. Now, this man here has a very interesting project whose philosophy aligns totally with what Project Wired believes in, giving the voiceless a voice. Without further ado, let me usher him in and let him introduce himself. Uh, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Wee Soon and I'm from Maven Lab. Thank you for introducing yourself. Can we share with us this exciting project that I think will benefit many, many people out there, especially the small business? This uh, you know, very challenging time. Uh, we, we all know that right, when it comes to face-to-face -to -face communication, it's, it's uh, close to impossible these days. And I think businesses are all feeling the stretch in terms of how they can still continue to engage with their customers. And also during these times, we, we start to receive a lot of inquiries from uh, businesses that want to have some, some sort of like a WhatsApp uh, business solution whereby they can have uh, you know, their, a few of their internal staff to be able to uh, engage uh, with their customers through these communication channels. And that uh, I also start to see that right these days, there's a lot of small businesses. They are also starting to advertise their WhatsApp number. Um, you know, at their shop front, you know, um, you know, to, to get people to uh, communicate with them through this channel. The challenging thing that I, I see them facing, right, is that it, it is quite tough for them to get that uh, message out to the masses. What we have done is that we actually have created a Facebook page to uh, see how we can uh, aggregate all the various uh, businesses' uh, WhatsApp number into this page to allow um, individuals or uh, that wants to you know, have access to all these services to be able to find those businesses information in this uh, so-called page or what we call a directory. Wow, that's a meaningful project. Can you share with us your motivation behind it? Think during this period of time, uh, you know, especially the, the second, what we call the phase two, um, when I was like, you know, going to the hawker center to, to buy food, um, uh, even during lunchtime, actually I barely see any crowd that uh, you know, people are uh, going to the hawker centers to buy food. And I was just chit-chatting with, with uh, one of the hawkers and asking him, hey, you know, this is lunchtime and uh, I don't see much customer. Is this the, the norm? And he was telling me, yeah, actually, uh, this, this, is, this is the norm right now. And, and I said, but, but you know, people still need to eat, right? People still need to, to, to buy food for their family members, right? So where do they go to? Then they say that, then he was telling me that, well, you know, they, they are now basically using all the food ordering app to, to buy food and so on. Then I was just, you know, um, suggesting to him that why not you get onto this platform as well? And he was sharing with me that, well, you know, um, you know we being hawkers, the, the price that we sell our food are already very low price. You know, how, how could we afford that, uh, you know, that, that 25, 30% cut that we have to pay through all this uh, food platform? Yeah. So, so that, that is something that I, I feel for, for all these hawker. You know, I understand where they are coming from. And I was just thinking that you know, through, through our platform, if they can put a, a WhatsApp number you know, in their store and allow consumers within the area to be able to place uh, you know, food ordering and do a self-collection. That would help them a lot in terms of still being able to get you know, customers and save them that you know, 25 or whichever percentage cuts that they have to give to all these uh, food uh, platform uh, so our service provider. Ah, we should. Now I know what's the motivation behind you starting this Facebook group. Now, usually we we'll ask our guests, what's your advice for today? But because this is a special edition for special guests, let me just ask you for that appeal to our viewers out there. You know, we are, we are all going through this tough time together. I would like to encourage everyone, if possible, to really support our local businesses to, to see how they can really hide through this really tough period of time by yeah, doing whatever you can to, to support them. Yeah, even sometimes, you know, when we order from them, if we can, maybe at the extra 50 cents or $1 to upsize whatever order that we have, huh? you know, just to support them. Huh? Thank you.